everybody, this is Gogo Plata, and today what I wanted to do was show you how to fill a triple V Pyrex tank from um, Valley View Vapes. Um, today we're going to be filling a 7 milliliter um, tank of his. Um, what I have here is I'm going to show you right here. Let's see a good view of that. That is his frosted um, 7 mil um, Pyrex tank. It looks beautiful. Um, looks like basically an ice cube. Um, it looks great, especially when there's juice in there. Um, when you do order this from um, Valley View Vapes, it comes with the drip tip um, cartomizer. Um, you can have it pre-punched for you. And also um, the tank with the two grommets. Um, the grommets come in red, black, or blue. Um, so some people have been wondering, especially on the forums, how to fill this bad boy out. Um, you know, at first it could be a little bit daunting, especially on how to fill it. Um, but that's what I'm going to do and show you how to do right now, step by step. Um, so let's get started. All right, so what we have here, I've already disassembled the tank. Um, and what we hear, starting from the left, um, is you're going to need a syringe. Um, disassembled tank, so you're going to need the tank, the cardo, which is already pre-punched if you've uh, purchased it, um, new. You're going to also need your drip tip, your two grommets, and your favorite e-juice. So, um, the first thing what you want to do um, is prime your cartridge. So, um, everybody has a different way in regards to priming their cartridge. Um, I may make another video. There's tons of videos out there on how to prime it. Um, but if you want to prime it, all you want to do is really just get um, a brand new cart. Or if you're using a brand new cart, um, to make sure that it already has some e-liquid in it and it's not dry. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime this real quick. Um, and uh, we'll move on to the next step after that. All right, so I've already pre-filled my cart here um, with some e-juice. What I'm going to do is first you want to put on the first grommet. Um, all the grommets here are made out of silicone and also have an O-ring that connects to the tank um, to make sure that it's a tight uh, seal. So you want to put the bottom O-ring first. You want to make sure that it's a little bit above um, the connector tip from the bottom here, as you can see, and just below the punched holes that you have there, okay? Um, you're going to want to grab your tank. What you want to do is first put on the bottom section. You want to just push it in nice and smooth and lightly so that the o-rings catch there at the very end of the tank and once you know you've got it done none of the o-ring is going to be showing in just the bottom part of that grommet so right there that's perfect um, what some people like to do is fill it and then put on the other grommet I don't like doing that for the reason that if you fill the tank and then you put the other grommet on and try to fiddle and push it in one, you can have juice splash back at you. Secondly, you're forcing all that air that's left in the tank to go somewhere. So wherever that air it's going to go, it's going to go to the place where it has a hole. Um, obviously, the two holes that you have there, which can cause the tank to flood. Uh, the cart to, to flood and all you're going to be doing is sucking juice or blowing out juice every five seconds. So um, what I like to do next is um, first you want to protect your grommet. So the top grommet is going to be the toughest part here. What I like to do is put the tip on. Um, if you have a tank filling tool that's good as well. Um, Ray sells a, a tank filling tool. What you can use is the the tip here, um, and that's fine. All you want to do is just protect that inner thread. So you want to connect that top grommet to the very top of that cardo and start pushing your way down. 
what you want to do is also keep your fingers at the bottom to keep the bottom grommet from pushing out of place because you're going to need a little bit of force to get this last part on. So start doing the exact same thing, inching away, pushing it in closer and making sure that you're getting a nice tight seal. And make sure all the o-ring is now gone. So this is what a finished tank looks like without juice. So you got your o-rings in place, I mean uh, your uh, your grommets in place, you got your drip tip in place, now you're wondering how the heck are we going to fill in with juice. That's why we have our nice syringe here. So um, you're going to want to take the syringe and start filling it in. So let's take a look at that. All right. So we got filled up some, just use any syringe that you have, obviously, use one that's not sharp, you don't want to stab yourself. Um, so this is a dull needle here, started filling up some juice, it holds about one milliliter worth of juice. What you're going to want to do is, you can take off the tip, I leave it on so I just know. Um, as you can see here, by the you can still see a little bit of your cartomizer. What you're going to want to do is put your needle tip and press it against the cartomizer, the metal side, because you don't want to ruin the um, the grommet. So you, the worst thing you can do is punch a hole in there, and then it starts leaking, and then that's you know defeats the purpose, and you're going to have to go get new grommets. Um, believe me, I've made that mistake before. So what you're going to want to do this is the easiest way to do it is push your needle against the cartomizer and start sliding in between the gap between the grommet and the cartomizer down until you get your syringe in. Okay, you can feel it, you can kind of see it. What you're going to want to do is then start, which is good because it won't force flooding within the cartomizer. With that gap there, you've created enough of an air hole so air will escape through the top in between that um, gap that you just created. So what you're going to want to do is start filling it. See the juice going in. Take the syringe out. Fill up some more juice. Remember to press against the cartomizer. There we go. Start filling in some more juice. I'll show this one more time. As you can see, the juice is flowing in there. It's going to take a little bit because I don't have a gigantic syringe here. So, um, we just filled the tank. I didn't fill it full. Um, you know, I filled it three quarters of the way through. Um, what we'll do now is uh, test it out and see uh, how it performs. Um, you know, having it filled, there's no leaks. Um, it did wipe the top a little bit, especially once you um, get in the syringe there for the first time. Sometimes a little bit, you know, it's wet on the tip of the, the syringe. So, um, you're going to get a little bit of juice on the top. Um, just wipe that off, the excess, you don't want to get that in your mouth there. Um, but if you did everything correctly or, you know, your cardo hasn't flooded, um, it should perform well. So I'm going to put it on my um, um, variable voltage mod here. Um, let's screw it on. Nice and easy here. Make sure it's tight. That's how it looks. Make sure, turned it on. At 2.9 ohms is the Ocardo I got, um, so we'll put it at 4.4 for me. Um, let's take a little uh, toot from it. So 
So um, it's performing very nice. It has that nice crisp sizzle. Um, it sounds great. I mean, it sounds great. Uh, tastes great. And, uh, you know, it sounds great too, actually. But, um, you know, that's uh, if you did it correctly, that's how it's going to look, sound, feel. Um, you know, I hope everybody enjoys the tank if they get it. Um, hopefully my video helped uh, helped you and figure out how to, to fill uh, the tank. And um, otherwise, um, I'll see everybody in the forum. Um, uh, this is Gogo Plata. And, uh, you know, just uh, as I always say, you know, live long and uh, vape on. All right, talk to you later, guys.